This is MMA Outbreak. Okay, guys, another middleweight bout here from UFC 154. Great fight. They just recently moved it to the main card between Nick Ring and Konstantinos Filipu. Guys, we're going to start off with Greg this time first. I'm going to open up Filipu as the favorite, minus 225, the comeback plus 175. Greg, give me your take and give me your bet. Hey, uh, my take on this fight is this should be closer to a pick em fight. Uh, Nick Ring, his only defeat is to a guy, Tim Bosch, that is in line you know, for a potential title shot. Uh, you know, defeated Yushin Okami, uh, defeated Hector Lombard. So that is the only loss uh, that Ring has. And although Konstantinos Filipu has looked good in his last fights, he's on a four-fight win streak, he's looked very solid. I'm taking Nick Ring in this fight. I think he's a huge value. Again, I think this fight should be a, a pick em. And by the, you know, getting a plus 175, uh, I'm going with Nick Ring on this. Okay, so Greg is going to take the underdog here. Nick Ring, plus 175, does find value. Excellent points made here. It's going to be 500 to win 875. Let's throw it over to Adam. Adam, what are your thoughts on this fight? When the fight was first announced, um, my initial reaction was, I, I think Costa Filippo is going to win. But, you know, after watching tape and, and doing more research on this, I, I, I agree with Greg. I, I got Nick Ring in this fight. And at plus 175, I think you're getting good value there. Um, the thing about Ring is... Uh, the judges just really seem to like his style, and he's always in really super competitive fights. Like Greg said, you know, his only loss is to Tim Boach, and he lost that fight 29-28 on two judges' cards. So, you know, he was a round away from being Tim Boach, who's a top-five guy in the division. You know, he has the win over Ricky Fukuda. I don't think anyone scored that fight for him except for the judges, but it doesn't matter because the judges liked him in that fight. And same with the Court McGee fight, another very close fight that the judges gave it to him. So... I think the key for this fight is that is that Nick Ring just he he he's very like um, he likes moving a lot and he just likes to circle around his opponents and and throw leg kicks and throw punches and Costa Filipu you know he has so much power in his hands he has such great boxing but he's not aggressive enough and he doesn't um, you know use his use his hands to his advantage so you know the key to this fight in my opinion is the fact that Nick Ring is landing um, over half a strike more per minute, and I think those strikes are going to add up, and I think the judges at the end of the day are going to give him a unanimous, unanimous decision. Okay, so Adam Martin also agrees. He's going with the plus money, plus 175. It's going to be 500 to win 875 on the underdog Nick Ring here. Both of our experts, again, make great points, take, saying take the dog money at UFC 154 in this middleweight bout. Well, thanks for joining us. That's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. You can look for the odds that Nick broke right here on the show to start popping up at the sport books throughout the coming week. And a big special thanks to our two guests, Adam Martin and Greg DeLong. Thanks for joining us, guys. Great job. And if you haven't checked out our site yet, make sure you head over to MMAOddsBreaker.com. A lot of betting picks, previews, and much, much more. And also follow us on Twitter at MMAOddsBreaker. For Miguel Literati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.